Real Women's Day, X slash X an update on the fight for fairness while the NCAA continues to mock female athletes' dignity and place them in danger by allowing men on women's sports teams, Concerned Women for America, CWA, stands in the gap, amplifying the voices of female athletes and reminding the country the NCAA isn't outside of accountability. With victory looming, CWA presses forward in the fight for fairness. Just last April, Redux confirmed a male athlete who goes by the name, Blair Fleming, is participating on the San Jose State University, SJSU, Division I volleyball team in California. Fleming previously participated on the Coastal Carolina volleyball team but transferred just before South Carolina's Save Women's Sports Bill took effect. Since the confirmation, CWA has engaged at all possible angles to ensure the women on the SJSU volleyball team, as well as their opponents, see a full restoration of rights and protections guaranteed under Title IX. The Save Women's Sports movement is approaching a turning point, and CWA is continuing to pave the way. CWA filed the first federal action against SJSU in a civil rights complaint to the Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights, OCR. The complaint highlights, SJSU has inflicted sexual harassment, emotional and psychological hostility, and substantial risk of injury. OCR is federally obligated to ensure students' civil rights, including the freedom from unlawful discrimination in education. The complaint continues, Protecting all female student-athletes from this type of injustice is the very essence of OCR's mission. Further, Young Women for America, YWA, and CWA leaders have continued to rise up in this moment to defend women's safety and dignity on their campuses and in their states. Many have written letters to NCAA member institutions that have played or are scheduled to play SJSU. Wyoming YWA President Brianna Harper sent a letter to the University of Wyoming President noting, Boise State University, a team in your conference, recently made the right decision to forfeit its game against San Jose State University. In doing so, Boise State courageously upholds the dignity and safety of its female athletes and its obligations under Title IX. We urge you to make the same decision. The University of Wyoming volleyball team canceled their match against SJSU later that day. CWA of Iowa also sprang to action after the University of Iowa invited SJSU to compete in their home volleyball tournament. The petition states, No Iowa University women's athletic team should allow males in female sports or compete against a collegiate team that includes a trans-identifying male in female sports competitions. The debate over men invading women's spaces also rises in light of the coming election season. To ensure a well-informed voting process, Concerned Women for America Legislative Action Committee, Qualic, sent both presidential candidates a copy of the presidential promise to American women. Signing the short document promises. My administration will focus on affirming sex-based distinctions that protect women in every area, such as shelters, prisons, housing, health care, defense, education, and sports. Former President Donald Trump has signed the promise. Vice President Kamala Harris has not. CWA of Texas State Director Jana Long, CWA Senior Advisor Doreen Denny, and I, as CWA's legislative strategists, have continued to link arms with partnering organizations to ensure informed voting and promote sex-based protections. Jana and I participated in Texas Values Policy Forum on a panel titled Save Women's Sports, A Movement Not a Moment. I also spoke at the Dignity of Women, event on Capitol Hill, and Doreen and I joined a panel titled Protecting America's Daughters, Title IX and the Fight for Fairness at Family Research Council's Pray Vote Stand Summit in Washington, D.C. CWA will continue to fight for fairness, guaranteeing that all women are safe and protected in their own spaces, no matter how poorly policymakers fail them. With four NCAA teams refusing to play male competition and female athletes joining to demand answers, the fight for fair play is garnering unprecedented wins nearly every day. And as this momentum continues to swell and accountability rises on the horizon, CWA is hopeful more leaders, policymakers, and universities will put the safety and dignity of their female athletes first.